Skyroot Aerospace is a Hyderabad-based private space company, founded in 2018 by former ISRO scientist Pawan Kumar Chandana and Naga Bharath Dhaka. The company aims to provide affordable and on-demand satellite launch services, particularly for small satellites. With a strong team of ex-ISRO engineers and rapid technological innovation, Skyroot is positioning itself as a serious contender in the global private aerospace market. Skyroot made history in November 2022 by launching Vikram S, India's first privately developed rocket, to a suborbital height of around 89 kilometers. This milestone established it as a frontrunner in India's emerging private space sector. The company is currently preparing for the launch of Vikram 1, its first orbital rocket, which is expected to fly in late 2025. The Vikram series includes multiple launch vehicles, Vikram 1, Vikram 2, and Vikram 3 each designed to carry payloads ranging from 480 to 815 kilograms to low Earth orbit. Skyroot's technology is centered around innovation and cost effectiveness. It uses advanced materials like carbon composites, 3D printed engines such as the Raman engine, and has developed both solid engines in the Kalam series and cryogenic engines like Dawan 2. These developments are aimed at enabling quick, reliable, and low-cost launches for small satellites, which is, you know, a rapidly growing sector in the global space industry. The company has raised over $95 million in funding, including a major $27.5 million investment led by Tamasek in 2023. It has also received support from the Indian government and the Telangana state, which is building a 60,000 square foot facility, Max Q, for the company in Hyderabad. These resources will help Skyroot scale operations and manufacture rockets at a competitive pace. So, a major boost to Skyroot came in June 2025 when former ISRO chairman Dr. S. Somanath joined the company as honorary chief technical advisor. Dr. Somanath, who led India's Chandrayaan-3 mission, brings immense experience in space mission design and execution. His guidance is expected to significantly strengthen Skyroot's technical strategy and mission planning. Skyroot also benefits from India's liberalized space policies. It was actually the first private Indian space company to sign a formal agreement with ISRO and InSpace which gave it access to critical infrastructure, testing facilities, and launch support. Internationally, Skyroot has also partnered with Axiom Space from the United States to explore future commercial space missions, including astronaut programs and space station logistics. Comparisons to SpaceX are, you know, pretty natural given Skyroot's origins and ambitions. Both companies were started by engineers who wanted to revolutionize space access, focus on cost efficiency, and make use of advanced manufacturing. Still, Skyroot shows great promise. Its success really hinges on the upcoming Vikram 1 launch. If successful, it could solidify Skyroot's position as a dominant private player in India and a serious global competitor in the small satellite market. With visionary leadership, strong funding, government support, and now Somanath's technical guidance, Skyroot is well on its way. Though honestly, not yet at SpaceX's scale. In short, Skyroot may not be the next SpaceX today, but it's certainly India's best bet for becoming one in the future. If you found this video insightful, go ahead and give the video a thumbs up and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video.